Hey, this is Neil from Caustic Waves from Glasgow in Scotland, and you're watching the local band Smokeout. And gentlemen, awesome. Whispers of Torment! Yeah! Yeah! Yes, yeah. sir! Oh. Fellas, how are we doing Thank today? Thank you so much for having me. Oh, my pleasure, my pleasure. Do me a favor, uh, properly introduce yourself. Let me know whereabouts in the world you guys are at the moment. So people that may not know that are, that are watching, and then plug and promote anything you'd like. Uh, we are Whispers of Torment from Riverside, California. Right now we're just in my bedroom in Riverside. Uh, and we actually have a show tomorrow in Exeter, California, close to Fresno. It's a house party. It's our last Halloween show of the of the of the Halloween season, and we're just super excited to play that tomorrow. Are you guys gonna dress? To are be. you gonna dress up? Yeah. I, oh yeah, they have a costume party going and everything. So if anybody wants to make it out, they got you know that going on. And I work Halloween, so I'm going all out for this when I can. Oh, awesome! Hell yeah! How long has uh, has a band yeah. been together for? uh on and off about 10 years yeah. um we've been kind of struggling as especially in like the earlier in the in the earlier years so we, we didn't get it going. <laughs> um yeah that too just like getting the money together for it but we've kind of kept coming back to it over over the decade just really pursuing it just really trying to make it happen and um we've been blessed enough over the last like five years or so to really be able to attack it the way we want to and especially over the last like year or two um, we've been really um, hitting it hard as well, especially with the new crew that we got, with the new drummer that oh, we got. And we've shout been out able to Oscar. To, shout out to Oscar. We've been able to really be where we where we've been kind of wanting to be for a while now. Hell yeah, very cool. And I appreciate you guys handing me a CD when I when I caught you at that one show. Uh, it was a while oh, back. Thank you for listening. That that venue was kind of weird, wouldn't you say? Well, I mean, we we are very used to that though, so like, we're we're just thankful to be playing shows again, especially after COVID. Yeah, that's, kind of that's, all, that's a humble way to say. Good. I dig it. I dig it. That's that's a humble answer yeah. for sure. Uh, I love uh, I love ferrymen, where you have like crowd participation oh, with you. the rowing and all that. That's one of my favorite ones that you yeah. guys have. Thank you, man. Thank you. Hell yeah, hell yeah. It feels so good to finally have that out. How long did it take to to work on all that? Oh, I mean, we were recording it in 2019, didn't we? So originally, so Ferryman's part of a larger project that we recorded yeah. in 2019. Um, and we were originally planning to have, we had like a whole like layout plan to release and stuff um, over the course of 2020. But as you know, COVID happened and we went, hey, two weeks, we could wait two weeks. And oh, two months, that's fine. We could push that back. And well, here we are. Yeah, so, COVID so, beat, beat us um, all up. COVID beat us all up for sure. Yeah, but as for the project itself, we were working on it maybe over the course of the summer of 2019. That's just for, for Ferryman or for additional singles and like a larger? Uh, it's it's uh, Ferryman, Poet, and the Reaper, which we just released right before. Oh, wait, no, it was after, right? It was after Ferryman, yeah. And then um, we have a new one coming out at, near the end of the year. Um, and these are all part of a 15 part, 15 yeah. song project that uh, we recorded a couple years ago. So we've only released two songs. We have 13 left. Are you just going to go single, single, single? And then when they're all out, drop the album or is there plans for like a specific release date? I imagine 2024, but. Well, I mean, we were smart. Well, I'm not even sure if it's smart or just lucky enough to have written the album at the t original plan. Uh, we wrote it in, in Acts 1, 2, and 3. So we're thinking of just putting them into separate EPs. And then once those are all out, just releasing it all out into one album or one collection. That's cool. Hell yeah. Do you guys do anything fun or crazy five minutes before going on stage? Like, do you have any, like, rituals or anything? Uh, just smoke one up and <laughs> hide myself up, right? Just... <laughs> Yeah, um, we we tend to all kind of hang out together. Like, we all like to show up, you know, and really enjoy like all the other um, bands that are playing before, yeah. um, before and after as well. Shoot the um, shit with each other. Shoot the shit. Of course, we all like to have a couple of drinks. I get too fucked up, but you know, uh, just really 
get into the zone. Not no nothing, not like any specific like rituals or anything that we really go through, but we kind of like to hang out and really get in the zone while we're in the over there. It's all about having a good time, Mel, and just yeah. really and enjoying it. Hell yeah! Uh, everyone has a worst show ever. Do you recall the worst gig that ever happened? Everything went wrong at this particular show. It's happened to all of us. It's happened to all of us. It'd probably be a house show we did way... It was before he... I think he went to go see it. The one they got sick at. Yeah. Yeah. That's one I got. It was some shitty backyard show. We didn't even have proper songs. They were just... I don't even want to call them demos. They were just mm-hmm. attempts at songs. And a few other bands basically in the same boat as us, you know, not really established. And I, one way or another, got a heat stroke or something, and I end up just puking and passing out on the side of the stage. And, well, the show's over. Like mid-set? <laughs> yeah. And I, I try to come back a few times, but each time I kept coming back, it's just like, just stay down. <laughs> yeah. You're just calling, no, I got it. Yeah. I can yeah. do it. <laughs> bugging, you know? Hell yeah. um, that I can think of. I mean, we've all had that show where like two members of the band last minute go, hey, I can't make it. Oh. And then you're just scrambling to see what you can do, if anything. Um, we've had those. Um <sighs> Yeah, I think that's up there for me. Other than that, we've been blessed enough to have pretty smooth shows, at least in recent memory, for sure. The ones we've been cut, we've come back on mm-hmm. have been pretty fun so far. Right. Did, were you guys prepped on the trivia portion of the show, and did you bring hot sauce? We, I can grab hot sauce. Can you just grab, can you keep them entertained for yeah, me? Yeah, go grab the hot sauce real quick. I'll go grab the. We'll go grab the hot sauce real quick. What? Oh, or while boy. he grabs it, to get. Well, I'll explain the trivia when he gets back. But what can you tell me about the single that's coming out before the end of the year? Uh, it's easily the heaviest song that we have on the album. So I know um, Poet and Ferryman have been. Um, they all have like their own like little bits of uh, where they're a little heavier than some of the other songs they put out. Especially considering the last single before any like album stuff um, is very like sing songy. Is very. Um, synth heavy is very chorus heavy very um almost like metalcore friendly um but this new one is just one where we just said fuck it we're going all out on it and just putting the absolute most energy on it and we've been um we've been lucky enough to be able to play it live a couple a couple times and it's gotten a pretty good uh reaction um every time we played it it's another like real fun one to play and it's just one that absolutely rips at least in our opinion it's definitely one of some of the heaviest material that we've um, no, uh, oh, yeah. All right. My personal favorite. Yeah, it's a personal favorite of ours for sure. It's a. Uh, it's just definitely one that we all just brought everything to, um, and just really try to make it rip as much as possible for sure. What sauce did you grab? Oh, I got a few. You know, I pulled a hot one on you. Okay, cool. Here. What do we got? You. you... The hottest. I, I was actually going to ask you, you're the one that likes to torture yourself with this crap. So We have El Yucateco Habanero. Not so hot. Sure. Or is that the hot one? one else we, got. we got that one. We've got some salsa huichol. We've I'm, got some that one. culichi. Two different flavors. I've never had those either. All right, cool. Well, you can pick whatever one you want. Um, but let's see if I can stump you. Here's the thing about the trivia. We need to know what movie right. or TV show, if you guys could agree on either a movie or a TV show that you've seen the most. So I'm going to look up trivia on this. I'm pretty quick, too, so I'll be ready shortly. But just pick, uh, it could be anything from Harry Potter, South Park, Simpsons, Jurassic Park. It doesn't matter. Anything I'm that's not, a movie I'm or a pretty TV big show. Godzilla fan, so I think it'd be hard to stump me. But you don't ball at the same thing. Yeah. Are we both? It's not a. I don't think that counts. But video games don't count, do they? No, movie Uh, or TV. Well, what video game is it? We were going to go with Mortal Kombat just because we're two huge fans. We're two huge fans. Yeah. But have you seen the movies too? That doesn't work. I have, yeah. Yeah, we've seen the movies. So that would be okay if I did like a Mortal Kombat movie trivia? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. 
Is there any? Is there any? I, I, I need. To, I need time to look it up. But is there any? Is there any features on uh, on the album, or is it? Is it all just you guys? And who does all your production? Also. Oh, it's uh, Timmy and Gage from Syrian Productions. They, uh, they are out, for, and they were in Lake Elsinore, but I think they just recently moved to. Is Lake Forest still Lake Elsinore? Yeah, no, Lake Forest is up by like Mission. Oh yeah, then yeah, uh, they're out in Lake Forest now. And they've done everything from me to my dog for my dog up until the very new one that we're about to drop at the end of the year. Yeah, everything from the original material that you've heard on the CD that we handed to you, um, everything to all the unreleased stuff has all been straight from them. And it's been a blast like working with them. They they know us inside and out. So working with them is just always great because it's it doesn't feel so much like work, but it's just hanging out really amazing, making music with friends, you know. And we're catching up with them next week with them, hopefully. So. Oh, cool. That's cool when you have like a chemistry with a particular producer. It just makes it easy to like gel. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and we've been so blessed. Hell yeah. Well, let's see if you have seen Mortal Kombat as many times as you say. And I believe it's the I'm first the movie. Oh, no. The first Mortal Kombat movie. Johnny Cage is fighting Goro. At one point during the fight, Goro steps on Johnny Cage's glasses, causing him to say, Those cost. How much money? Five hundred dollars, asshole. Five hundred dollars is correct. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah. So now I have to do hot sauce instead, and this is really, oh, really, buddy, really what hot. Do you got? Oh, this, this is a homemade sauce that somebody gave me from uh, Nevada, and it has like Ooh. Reaper and all kinds of stuff in it. So. Oh, gnarly. Yeah. All let, right. Let me get this down on that. This guy's like my hot sauce ones. <laughs> this is a little dab. Is all I need. Trust me. Um, you guys, Dude, after after a, a killer set, what is the go-to munchy snack? We're celebrating some beers, maybe some ganja. You want to get high? What is the go-to munchy snack? Well, I'm partial to cancitos. In, like these little chocolate mm. Mexican cakes oh, that yeah. you get at gas stations. Those are really, especially if you get them cold. That or Carl's Jr. I don't think I've ever had that. Uh, you can never go wrong with the Carl's uh, Bacon Western. Yep. Especially after, you know, you're sweating yep. on stage and you're drained. It's probably it's after midnight and you just want to go home. <laughs> just stop by and drive through real fast. Makes the whole re- rest of the car right so much easier on you. That's what I order when I go there too. The Western Bacon. The onion rings and stuff on it. Good like, choice. Hell yeah. Like, yeah. So, I, I like getting extra barbecue. Their barbecue sauce is delicious. Mm-hmm. What's the hardest song for you guys to play in, in your set? Avarice. Yeah. Easily uh, Avarice. Another unreleased song of mine, or of ours. Mm-hmm. And I have a 30-second scream in it. And be, oh, I want to be Chester Bennington with a 30 second scream, like on Giving <laughs> Up, you know. And then, like, oh, it's one thing to record it. Now, after I release it, I'm going to have to hit that note every time we play it on stage. So, it, it's, and they don't like playing it. Our guitar player and our drummer, they don't like playing it early. They like saving it for like second to last. So, my voice is already gone. And I have yeah. to, and they like to tease me about it too. Like, can you hit your <laughs> note so well? That's funny. So that one's Asshole. tough. <laughs> that one's tough. Yeah, it, it, and also coming very soon. I got one more Mortal Kombat trivia question. Oh. Now this one is from Annihilation. In Mortal Kombat Annihilation, a bunch of the cyborgs appear, which is like, you know, the it's from the game, the cyborgs. That, which that one boy. which <laughs> one does not appear? Sector. Mother Vector. That is correct. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. You've definitely seen that movie a bunch of times, for sure. I that would have been a cool I, one, too, because he's the one that I drops the little game. bombs, you right? My go-to. Is he the one that, that drops the bombs, or he shoots a rocket out of his chest? Yeah, he's the, yeah, he, uh, Sector was the red one with, uh, with the rockets. Hell yeah. Damn, I have to do more. Uh, if anything, he was spared from that movie. <laughs> I'm still burning. Yeah. I'm still burning. Do you guys have any? I like to ask uh, everybody I haven't showed this question. Do you have anything that that freaks you out or scares you phobia wise? Oh, I'm I'm afraid of. Oh, right. my man here loves to act tough. Fuck you. <laughs> Horribly <laughs> terrified of the dark. I still I still give him shit for it. Now it's still great to like get him whenever we're like sneaking around the house or if we're like staying in a hotel somewhere. If we could turn off the lights, I'm like, really. 
get under his skin. It's just it's so much fun. Yeah. <laughs> and um, you're afraid of commitment. <laughs> <laughs> that is a no, I'm oh man. Uh yeah. Uh <laughs> no, um I have a I have a thing for insects, man. It's I I love I love animals and I love like looking at them, but it's anything that's like crawling that has anything like that is just was too close. It's just I can't like the caterpillars and stuff. Just, yeah. They're super cool, but oh my god, I can't they're cool up close. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, I think I had another question. Oh yeah, where where could you guys play if you wanted to play anywhere in the world, like all expenses paid? What particular country are you most looking forward to jamming at? I'd say Mexico. Mexico. You both yeah. agree, Mexico. My parents are from there. Yeah, so we. It'd we're... be it'd be a real. And they came, you know, came to the United States and struggled to get me so many opportunities. So to be able to go back and you know play a show and the the motherland basically like that that'd be pretty sweet you know that that'd be a nice way to get back to them. Have they have ever had the opportunity to see you guys live? Well, <laughs> back yeah. when we sucked more than we do now. And back sure. when we didn't know anything. <laughs> that back to when mom and dad knew how to be mom and dad basically. Uh, what are you doing? <laughs> do they, so but, I imagine though they have your support. Or oh, yeah. vice versa, yeah. they um, support as long you. As, you know, as long as we're not doing anything horrible or promoting anything or any negative messages, you know, they, they just uh, want hope that uh, everything we do and everything that we put out, we do so in a positive light. That That's all my parents uh, wish for, right. is to be a positive influence instead of a negative one. Who's the best Mortal Kombat character, and who do you pick when you play when you when you play the game? Let's say oh. let's say we're loading up like Ultimate or something, MK3 Ultimate. MK3 Ultimate, Sub Zero or Scorpion? I mean, I like the, yeah, you can't beat the classics. Yeah, they're, they're the best part of the game. Rain and Ultimate, Rain and Ultimate, right? Yeah, well, yeah. either Rain's and he's either in Trilogy or Ultimate. He's either. I'm, a, I'm a Rain. I'm a huge Rain fan. Rain. Oh, I'm Rain? a huge Rain fan. He's a huge Scorpion fan. Yeah. I was really good with Cabal back in the day, before they like they, oh, nerf, they nerfed him. Oh, oh my god, god. that's good. Yeah, he that's was pretty, pretty good. good. I loved Mortal Kombat Three. Yeah. Is there anything that that we need to know about you guys uh, before we let you go today? Anything that you that you want to promote upcoming shows? Um, just something we may not have touched base on today. So we have, like we mentioned at the beginning. Um, we have the upcoming show tomorrow uh, up near Fresno in Exeter. Um, I know that's super last minute. If anybody's up that way and wants to come check us out at the house show Exeter, we'd love to have you. Um, aside from that, we also have November 11th mm-hmm. in Barstow. Um, in Barstow. Um, we'll have more details on that if any of you follow us on our Instagram. Um, we also have one on December 1st, and I believe. Nine. We're closing um, out in Vegas. Right, December 1st at the Doll Hut in Anaheim, if anybody wants to come out and hang out there. And then uh, December 9th, we're playing in Vegas as well. So if anybody wants to make the trip and come party with us and end the year out right out there, that'd be and, great as well. Yeah. And then even the next year in February, we're playing Crypt at the Whiskey of Go-Go. Mm-hmm. That's uh, February 24th, and we're excited to be back there with them. And just more importantly, we're just, we just really hope that everybody and anybody that has supported us, you included, just know how thankful thankful we are just to be here to be able to do this because we wouldn't be able to do this without people you know like you calling us up for shows and supporting live music and stuff like that so this this is a dream come true and we we can't tell you how thankful we are for that i know that lizzie reached out about a december 16th show but she said your basis was was busy so you guys weren't able to jump on that one but we'll 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 reach out about a different one um i know we have something march 19th off the top of my head in Apple in Apple Valley, so maybe we can do that one instead. Oh, nice! Yeah, that should be a lot more doable. It's just we had a lot of a lot of personal things come up with our bassist, and then um, our drummer too is getting a little busy, and unfortunately, uh, their schedule is kind of filled up, so we don't want to put them in any awkward positions where we gotta like force them to pick something or anything like that. And they've been pretty good about um, being able to make most of the shows that we've planned out this year. So. Um, yeah, I think we're all booked up pretty much for the year. But as for March, I think that should be yeah. a lot more doable for sure. And we'd love to come out and party with you guys as well. All oh, right, yeah. cool. Yeah, we'll reach that out. Shows, I, there's a, a there's a chat question. 
If you guys could tour with any band, who would you choose to go on tour with? Ooh. That's a good one. Current or like just any band or and my you my can call, you can pick like two or three if if it's too tough. Like you build the whole lineup for me. I mean, if I could do well, well you go. We'll, we'll have you go first. If so I could do Lincoln Park, Ramstein, Slipknot, and Corn. I know those are all big names. Yeah, like, like, yeah. sold out tour. You, you said any band. <laughs> Ambitious. No, I love it. Yeah. Like I do. Um, I, I think band goes so hard. I think my personal lineup would probably consist of. Um, I'm a huge Make Them Suffer fan, as well as a Chelsea Grin fan. For any of you guys out there who are into that, um, I think Bless the Fall would also be super cool. Hell yeah, some good some good uh, selections right there. I would go to both of those tours for sure. Well, uh, yeah. hell yeah. Well, gentlemen, I appreciate you spending some time with me, let, let, open it up, letting us know a little more about you. Uh, we look forward to the single coming out at the end of the year, and then obviously the, oh, yeah, the rest definitely. of the singles in the full length in the future. Stay safe when you do go on the road to Fresno and then obviously to Vegas and Barstow. That's awesome. But this was fun, man. If it's okay with you guys, I will have this on YouTube uh, tomorrow morning. Oh, sweet. Dude, thank, thank you, you so much, much, man. Yeah. Of course. That was it's my pleasure. Honor. Thanks for giving me the CD, man. I, oh, no, of course, I, I put yeah. it. I put it in the CD player, and I I don't get a lot of CDs anymore. So it's still in my CD player in my car. I told you we need to print more. Thank you. It totally it's worked. Relic, it totally relic, worked. You know, it's nice. Yeah. So I get to hear it all the time, and um, I think uh, I think uh, Pain might be my favorite. The one there's one called one? there's one called Pain, or I know there's one called Till Death, right? Oh yeah, Till Death, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Till we death is my favorite. Need to bring that one back. Oh, yeah. Well, nice. fellas, thank you so much. Have a fantastic evening, and uh, we'll we'll uh, see you in the future. You thank too, you, man. thank you very yeah, much. Great night, ladies and gentlemen. Whispers of torment. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah. Yes. Hell yeah. See you guys. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Hi, welcome to local band smokeout.